Hello guys, this is Joe from JC Design and welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, I just stumbled across this little car rig on uh, online and I wanted to share it with you. Uh, it's by a guy called uh, Kang Dan. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I hope I am. Um, it's kind of like a nice little espresso car rig that is fully featured and it has all the uh, suspension and everything. So I'll just show you the the uh, the the features of of the car rig. So this is the rig. Um, it, like I said, it was made by a guy called Kang Dang, and all the links and everything are in the description below if you want to go uh, check him out. Um, I'll just show you his. Uh, is Vimeo. Um, so if I just pull this across, so this is his all of his stuff here. Uh, so go check out this guy. It's uh, it's pretty amazing what he's what he's giving away for free. So I th let me just uh, take you through a, his little rig here. So what you can do with this rig is yeah. all the controls are in Chinese I think sorry if it's if it's Korean or Chinese I'm not it looks Chinese to me anyway so um, what we have here is you can move the wheels left and right which is pretty cool uh, you can rotate each wheel individually which is awesome you can do some crazy wheel spins that's pretty cool. Uh, let me just get rid of the body a second, and then we can actually see what's what exactly is um, is kind of animating here. So you have all the differential and everything in here, which is amazing work, to be honest. Uh, so you, you can see all this, and then when you turn the wheels, that all turns and everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's just back out of there a second. I'll put the body back on. Um, how do I select that? Hang on a minute. There we go. Uh, it's got fully dynamic suspension as well, so you can uh, do some co pretty cool animations. Um, so that you can drive along and then you can have the, the suspension moving around. Uh, what other features have we got down here? We've also got um, like a the shocks as well. Let's see what this does. All right, okay. So that makes the shocks go up and down. So you can do some like static animation, make the wheels turn. Uh, I think this is the hardness of the suspension. So we take the. All right, so the suspension goes a bit softer, and then if you put it up here, it goes harder. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, let me just turn that off a second. Let me just stop this. Uh, an another thing that I, I really thought uh, that was pretty cool as well was that you can actually. Um, so let me just turn on my uh, my terrain here, and the, the the thing that really I found interesting from f when I found this when I saw the video is that you can uh, you can make the car kind of drive over this terrain really easily. So what you do is if you select on the model, let me see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, oh yeah. And then so you select on the model, take your terrain and put in this little uh, box down here. That's his terrain. And then if you turn it on and then we'll go back to uh, our model and then we'll just put a Actually, I'll put a camera over here. Just set a camera up over here. Bear with me, two seconds. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing there? <laughs> okay. So I'll set a camera up, put a camera, and then I'll set that to a target camera. And then I'll put the target object into there. We'll just jump into this camera here. Uh, turn that off a second, go back into the car, and we'll just do a quick animation on it. Keyframe it, maybe 200. Um, let's just zoom out. And then we'll pull the car across here, and then we'll keyframe it, and we'll make the car go back. 
So what you can do is you can actually make the uh, whatever environment you make, so if you make like any sort of rough terrain, you can get the car to drive over it quite easily. Uh, if you just tick this box off, and then if we play, if you jump into our target camera, and then we play, it should drive over the terrain. Like so. Check that out. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, so it's uh, it's fully dynamic. It's um, it's like all the suspension works. Uh, this guy's done an amazing job, and it's free as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I just want to share it with you guys. I, th I thought it was really cool. Uh, it might come in useful for somebody who wants to do like a car animation or something, and doesn't really know how to set up the rig. Um, what else did I want to show you? Uh, oh yeah, uh, let me just get rid of all this crap here. Um, we'll just go back to the back to the car. Uh, you can also align the uh, the car to a spline as well. So I'll just get rid of these uh, keyframes here. Uh, delete that, and oh no, I'll delete the car. What am I talking about? So. You can also align it to a spline. So let's just go into our orthopedic, not orthopedic. Well, I don't know what the views are called. <laughs> um, we'll go here and we'll play cubic. So let's just zoom out a second. And we'll just make some random shape, random spline. We'll go around here, circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to align this car to the spline, so the so the car follows the spline. So the, let me just remember how you do this again. So if you go down to Cinema 4D tags, and then you go to Align to Spline, and then you grab the spline. Nope, you grab that, and then you put the spline into the path. And then we'll just put this back to zero, and we'll click on the spline. And that's following the spline, but it's not following the direction of the spline. So if you just click that word there, <laughs> if you just click on this here, <clears throat> then it, it'll, uh, it'll align to the spline. So we'll put in a keyframe here, and then we'll go all the way to 200, and put in 100%. Smash a keyframe there, and we'll do go out and see what happens now Let me just play that so you can get the car to follow the spline which is pretty cool wow that's cool yeah so anyway I just want to share that with you it's just a kind of a quick video just to show you this uh, this little setup um, uh, go check out this go check out uh, Kang Dang. I don't know if that is uh, That's how I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but um, yeah, go check him out he, It's amazing what he's done with this uh, this car rig and I hope you use it in some of your future projects Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a quick one today Goodbye